Development, and this is... I'm Katie, and I also work in product development. Uh, today we're going to be talking about washing and storing your Kinderbell projects. Now, why would you be storing away such beautiful things that you've spent so much time stitching? But sometimes you've got to because it's a seasonal item. So if you're storing away something like the Vintage Boardwalk Quilt, let's make sure that it's folded on fabric lines. Don't fold it along the embellishment lines where you've got vinyl and glitter that will leave a crease in those. Yeah. So make sure it's folded on the fabric lines and store it away at room temperature. You probably don't want to store it away in an attic or a garage where it gets really hot because the glitter and the vinyl may become brittle. So let's keep it in your home. What else have you got, Katie? Well, talk about washing your projects. Um, there are probably a variety of projects that you've made both with and without embellishments. Um, washing them depends on the type of project that it is. For example, this pillow would be really easy to wash. Just take out the pillow form and throw it in your washer and dryer. I need it and put it back on the pillow yeah, form for sure. Easy. Yeah, what about a mug wrap? They tend to get dirty. They do get dirty very easily. And again, depending on the embellishments that you have on it, this one is just fabric, very easy to throw into the washer and dryer. Uh, iron it, you're good to go. Um, if you do have embellishments on one of these projects, so uh, you'll want to be very careful what you do with it. Yeah. You want to watch the water temperature, and you probably don't want to just throw it in your washing machine. You'll want to spot clean um, or hand wash and, and lay flat to dry. Mm -hmm. And make sure to wash on cold water is best for bleeding and making sure that your embellishments don't, aren't damaged at all. And it does depend on how you've attached your embellishments. If you've taken the time to sew them on very carefully and securely, more agitation will not bother them. If you have glued it like I do, um, washing it on hot water or washing it in warmer temperatures um, and with a lot of agitation could potentially remove those embellishments. So then you would need to visit your favorite quilt shop, buy more embellishments, and put them back on. That can always be done. Yeah, but be careful when you're cleaning your um, Kimberbell products. So the next thing is we do make a lot of lace here. So what would you do with lace, Katie, if your lace gets dirty? So my lace, I would hand wash, um, and it's very similar to when you remove the stable, the wash away stabilizer. That's essentially what you will do to wash the lace. And um, I would just take your project. And here we've got a bucket of water with just a little bit of detergent in it. Here I've got some delicate wool light. That's what I like to use. And I just put a little bit in this bucket of cold water. I would soak my lace in there. And then I would take a washcloth or a towel. I've got some good microfiber ones here. Um, and just gently scrub, gently rub it where if there's a stain, that's how I would remove it. And then rinse it out in your sink with cold water and then lay it flat to dry. And um, you can also lay it between your towels to let it dry a little bit faster. To let it soak up the water like that. Always lay flat to dry so yes. that it returns to the beautiful creation that you've already created. Mm -hmm. So that's a great way to clean the lace. What about spot cleaning or cleaning a quilt? What would you do there, Katie? Well, there, um, so here I've got a wall hanging. It's made similarly to a quilt, just on a very smaller scale. If I were to get a spot on this, I would take my towel, I would take my washcloth and my towel, dip it in a little bit of soapy water, just like that, and then spot clean. Spot wherever it was, it got dirty. And then I would rinse that spot in a little bit of cold water to get any excess soap out and then again lay flat to dry and I would do that for a quilt or for any wall hanging or anything that has a lot of embellishments on it like this one's got these buttons I don't want to throw it in the washing machine um, and plus because of the red I don't want it to bleed so that's how I would clean this just spot clean and then just lay flat to dry what about a tea towel what would you do with the tea towel Katie okay. uh, for a tea towel before you even embellish 
but before you even stitch on it, when you have your brand new tea towels, I would take the individual colors and I would wash them in your washing machine. You can wash those uh, just on a cold cycle without any soap to let the color set. And then once those have dried, um, yeah, once those have dried and you've embellished on them, or stitched on them, sorry, um, if you're using it a lot to dry your hands, just go ahead and throw it in the wash. But again, be careful about the embellishments that you have on there, your buttons, or any anything that you tack on after it's been stitched. Just be careful again about those. Um, but otherwise, I would throw it in the wash just on a cold, gentle cycle. Because we want you to stitch up really beautiful projects and then have them on display, have them yes. out, and don't worry about them getting dirty. So you can take care of spot cleaning and washing your projects and then keep them on display where people can see them and enjoy them. Thank you for tuning in and happy stitching from Kimberbell.